Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Wednesday, no, Thursday, August the 3rd, 2017. And as always, thank you for watching, retweeting, posting, subscribing, becoming a fan, coming to my events and workshops, all that good stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, did you know that I have a Facebook page of Intuitive Dream Interpretation? and intuitive animal communication, and also the Orlando Terror Tribe. If you want to be a part of those, once a week I post a little bit of a lesson, a little bit of learning and growing, and where you guys can share your animals and dreams and, and tarot card journey. So, there you go. Your message today is this. You are, mo you are most likely contemplating stepping into or telling a lie because you're afraid of something. The why you're doing it is more important than the lie. So this is something that Spirit was just kind of throwing at me the other day. A lot of times, you know, we get so worried that, oh, you know, when we are lying to people, when we tell a lie, when we participate in a lie, when we contemplate, you know, we're so focused on what the actual lie is. When if we would unearth the reason why we're even telling a lie, you know, anybody who's ever lived a lie, like I have on a few places, <laughs> coming out of the closet, you know what it's like when you finally tell the truth and you live that truth. And, you know, for me, it was self-preservation, it was fear, um, those kind of things. But whatever the lie may be, it's usually more important why you're telling it, why you're even contemplating it. Once you start thinking, oh, how am I going to sell this story to somebody some way? It's the why. Most likely you're afraid of the outcome. You know, most likely you're afraid they're going to blow up, they're going to get mad, they're not going to love you, they're going to leave you, you know, they're going to hit you, you know, whatever it may be. So dig into the why and work on that rather than the lie. So there's your message for today. All right, let's look at some cards, numbers, energy for today, tomorrow, and Saturday. So today, all the numbers add up to three. This is about creative expression, expression, speaking your truth. You know, it's optimistic energy, optimistic and fun. And then from Lenormand, it's 26, which is the book, which is often about things that are hidden, secrets, lies. This can be about a book. It can be about research, studying, you know, just about reading something. And from Tarot, Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is often about a relationship, not necessarily the soul bonding kind like the lover's card, but it could be about a contract, a relationship coming together. And again, being a three-day, this could be about the day where you, you know, tell those around you what's going on inside your mind, inside your heart, inside this hidden book that you've got. And then tomorrow, all the numbers add up to four. That's solid, grounding, it's, it's practical. Um, some other key words are endurance, serious, and, you know, uh, practicality. And then from Lenormand, three, ship, which is about movement, about travel, um, getting going. Some other key words, transfer, journey, vacation. From Tarot, the page of swords. So maybe this is the time where you're getting news about movement. You're thinking about traveling. You know, maybe you're making the plans for your next vacation or something tomorrow. Uh, but it's definitely about information and news coming with that page of sorts, or it could be about a child that you have or you know that is moving, traveling, changing, shifting, going to registering, going to a different school. You know, I know school started for a lot of people. And then um, Saturday, it's a five day that's shifting, moving, changing, versatile. You know, it's this um, progressive thinking freedom number. And from Lenormand 32, which is five, moon. Moon can be about our emotions, our heart, psychic abilities, you know, love and romance. And from, oh, the lovers from Tarot. So on Saturday, the five day, this is definitely about love, lovers, relationship, romantic love and relationship. Something, you know, a versatile, you know, movement, shifting, changing kind of energy that day, progressive, resourceful day. So enjoy that day with your, with your loved one. It could be a day where you just get to reconnect, maybe what it feels like. So there's your message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Check out my website, MitchellOsborne.com, MitchellOsborneHypnotherapy.com. Just made plans for Sunday, October the 8th in Kissimmee. I'm going to do the basics of tarot followed by 
connecting to Tara through hypnosis, which is the workshop I just did, but we want to bring the two things together. It's going to be like an all-day workshop from 10 till 4.30 with the lunch break in between. This Sunday, I'm in Sanford at the Center of Wellness, and I am doing um, Intuitive Development 101. We're just going to talk about all the clairs, and it's going to be a workshop where you get to really work, and I'm going to put you through the, the tests and make you work and develop your intuitive uh, abilities. So, also... Uh, you can check out other things there. So, oh, Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde spread. It goes into retrograde on the 13th of August. So that spread is on my website there. You can get that and plan for this time of renewal, reanalyzing, reviewing your life from August 13th through September 5th. So namaste. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.